If you've been on the planet for a few decades, you've heard about Sony. They are known for high quality audio and sound equipment, including earbuds and headphones. Today we are diving into the world of the Sony over-the-counter hearing aids. We are going to be focused specifically on the CRE E10, which is the in-the-ear hearing aid. And then we are going to also mention the, the C10, which is the completely in-canal hearing aid. We are going to review the pricing, features, design and overall performance of these hearing aids so that you can decide if they're a good fit for you. Hey everyone, my name is Guy and I've been suffering from severe tinnitus and hearing loss for over a decade now. Ever since the FDA approved over-the-counter hearing aids, a lot of companies ran into this market trying to introduce new hearing aids that are not as expensive as prescription hearing aids and offering the consumer more options. When Sony first released those hearing aids less than a year ago, they were priced around $1,300. They are now priced around $1,000, you know, $9.99. So, if you decide those hearing aids are a good fit for your hearing profile and for your needs, then it's a pretty good deal these days. In order to bring hearing aids to market, Sony partnered with another company which is already known for hearing aids, WS Audiology. They've been releasing hearing aids to the market for about four years and they have a pretty good name in, in terms of the quality of the hearing aids. So with this cooperation between Sony and WS Audiology, you get a combination of real-world experience and releasing hearing aids to the market as well as the quality and the name of Sony. The Sony E10 are in the ear hearing aids. You know, they go into your ear just like earbuds, but it's really important to choose the right tip. The, in the hearing loss world, we call those domes. On the hearing aids world, we call those domes. Sony calls them sleeves. It's really important to use the right sleeve. Th that sleeve has two functions. The first function is to hold the hearing aid in your ear. And the second function, obviously, is to deliver the right sound into your ear. If the sleeves are too big, they will cause a probably uncomfortable feeling because they will bother you in your ear and they will close your ear completely which will uh, create an occlusion effect, which means that it's almost like you're putting your finger on uh, inside your ear and blocking your hearing, and then you will hear yourself and everybody else kind of, kind of weird, right? So you want to choose the right sleeve that will allow some air or some movement, but still will be tight enough to hold the hearing aids um, inside your ear, and provide good sound quality. In order to do that, Sony is actually providing different sizes, so you can choose the right size that fits your ear canal, and you can actually choose different sizes per ear. So maybe one of your ear canals is slightly bigger than the other one, so you can choose different sizes for different ears. I'm Guy from the future. Guy in the present of the review forgot to mention a couple of things. I'm just going to help him cover those things without him knowing. You'll notice that the charging case is charging the hearing aids even though the charging case itself right now is not plugged in. Meaning that this charging case supports the same very important travel feature. You can charge the charging case itself and it will hold a few charges while you're traveling. So if you don't have access to power for a few days, you're still fine. You'll probably have enough power here to support you for around three days, I think. Guy in the present also forgot to mention that during the setup of the hearing aids, we actually ran through a lot of problems. We were having a hard time making the connection between the application and the hearing aids to start configuring them and, and configuring the, the sound profile for each one of us so we can test the hearing aid. We did use Sony support and Sony support was very useful and very helpful. 
and I will mention that at the end of the video. Inside the box, um, it's pretty simple and straightforward stuff. You got the hearing aids themselves. In this case, I already charged the case, so it's already charging. And then under that, you will find some paperwork and user guide. And, you know, the charger part. And then has some basic cleaning tools. And then, of course, the sleeves that we talked about. Okay, so this is the app. And like I was saying before, it's pretty um, basic, but it does offer you uh, the most important controls for day-to-day -day functions. You have your volume control. You have the balance between treble and bass. And then you have the directional hearing. So let's say that you go to a restaurant and somebody, there's a lot of noise around you and somebody speaking in front of you, you can focus on that speaker. Or if somebody sits on, your, sits on your right side and they speak to you, you can turn your head to them and use the frontal focus, but you can also um, focus on your right side or your left side. Um, again, you could also focus backwards. Um, but I think this is probably the... Because once, once you set up your travel base balance the way that you like it, and once you have the volume where you want it, you may go in and change the volume, and you can do that. Probably you'll, you'll do that based on different situations. But I think the, the function that is probably the most, that is going to be the most um, useful in noisy situation is the directional hearing. These are the basic functions of the app. So the other model that Sony released is the, the C10 as opposed to the E10. That model goes all the way into your canal. So it offers the most uh, discretion. It's literally invisible. Somebody has to look inside your ear canal to see the wire that you use to pull those hearing aids out and then push them back in. The C10 model does not support Bluetooth and is a battery powered model, which means that you have to change batteries every few days. If discretion is the most important thing for you, then you can probably go for the C10 they offer very similar hearing amplification support. And the same app is used to control both the E10 and the C10. However, if functionality is more, most important to you or more important to you, you would go with the E10, which do support Bluetooth and do offer you more options than the C10. One thing I want to mention is that some people uh, are complaining about the E10 popping out of their ears. So as they chew or they move their jaws or they maybe make just kind of different movements, they say that the E10 are falling off or, or popping out from the ears. This is again where the sleeve is really important, that sleeve or dome Choosing the right size to assure the right sound quality is really, really important also to hold the hearing aids inside your ear. So if you have this problem, you probably want to try different sizes to make sure that the hearing aids are, you know, secure inside your ears. In terms of the quality of the sound that you get through the E10, again, I had two different users using the E10 and both of them reported um, the, that the sound quality is not as high as they would expect from a Sony hearing aid. You know, they compared that to, to uh, different hearing aids or even to uh, earbuds. And they were saying that the quality is not as, as good as they would expect from, from a Sony hearing aid. They also uh, mentioned that the high frequency sounds didn't come as clear as the other sounds. One really important note for Android uh, users is that you cannot stream uh, sound or music or anything through the app to your, to your uh, hearing aids. This is only supported in the iOS version of the app. 
So to me, it kind of makes those hearing aids really kind of specialized to iPhone users. One really good thing about these hearing aids is the Sony support. Sony offer really robust support and you can call them, you can text them, you can chat with them and get the support that you need during the setup process and then when you just use the hearing aids on day to day. As I mentioned in the beginning, we were really having problems and challenges with the initial setup of the hearing aids and configuration and we actually called Sony we got a really patient technician that stepped us through different options until we finally were able to configure the hearing aids and complete the, the setup process. So remember that the, the Sony CRE E10 is recommended for people that have mild to moderate hearing loss. And this is a common theme with over the counter hearing aids. There is one exception right now. There's one exception, which is Jabra which we are going to try and review uh, pretty quickly here. But it's very common for over-the-counter hearing aids to support mild to moderate hearing loss. The E10 are really good if you have an iPhone or an iOS device that you can connect to the hearing aids to control them. If you have an Android device, I would just go with a different hearing aid or a different app that can support me. These hearing aids and the app are pretty straightforward. They are user-friendly. They do offer a pretty good set of uh, features. They have those directional microphones where that could really help you in a room or in a situation where you have people talking all around you and you can focus to the front of you or to the side of you. Again, you can even focus to the back of you for whatever reason, but <laughs> that's okay. Thank you so much for joining me for this review. I hope it's helpful for you. We are going to review many more hearing aids and I'm going to try and get, again, my hands on a Jabra Pro, which does support severe hearing loss. If these are helpful for you, please consider liking this video and subscribing. That a small help that we can ask for. It helps the channel grow. We have a playlist completely focused on different reviews. So check that playlist. It should be somewhere here or actually on this side. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.